right, guys, I want to show you one of the best blitzes in Madden 22. This comes in, it's a five-man pressure that uses the cover two back shell uh, to create really good pressure against Bunch, even when they block uh, seven, which is why I absolutely love this defense. As you can see here, I'm blocking seven out of Bunch. We're sending five, and we're getting consistent edge pressure. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I do videos like this every day that break down different concepts, different ways that you can improve on uh, Madden 22. So if you're looking to get better at this game, like I said, hit that subscribe button. Now the video or the defense we're talking about today is the 335 will. And I have to be honest with you, the 335 will is the most slept on and the most underrated defense in Madden 22. And I'm going to give you two reasons why. The first reason is the pressure that you can create from 335 will is a better version of the big nickel over G. You can create better edge pressures. You can create a ton of two and three man concepts that are super, super glitchy and very effective. The, th the second reason is this formation gives you the ability to play every major match coverage in the game. We can play cover four quarters, cover four palms, cover six, cover three match, cover six invert. Right, We can play all of the best match coverages in this game, which is why I love this defense because we can send a lot of pressure out of it, but we can also incorporate some really effective concepts out of the coverage aspect of this defense. And the last thing that I, I didn't even want to talk too much about is the fact that we have this in the Chicago playbook. So if you got my 245 odd guide, you can run this 335 will guide as well as we have the triple, the 335 wide, and the 245 odd all together in one package. So if you want to get my 335 Y or Will ebook, I just released it. I'm going to put a link to it in the description of this video. You can get the entire defense for just 15 bucks. It's on sale down at the link provided in the description and in the comment section. So the Nickel Blitz 2 out of 335 Will is what we're going to be talking about today. And the thing I like about this is there's basically no adjustments. Literally, all you have to do is QB contain. And then I like to stand kind of right here with my user. I want to try to distract the guard and the center on that side. So you see here, we're going to try to distract, distract them. As you can see, the pressure comes completely free. Now, an additional adjustment that I personally like to make out of this is I like to go ahead and show blitz. And the reason why is just because it's going to help us, uh, in my opinion, against some of the some of the you know ways that people are going to try to pick this up. So again, we're just going to run through like this. That time we got held up by that tight end. That does not happen as much as you would think it does. Um, that was kind of a fluky situation. So again, let me just show it. Um, if you want to press, you certainly can do that. What I like about this formation is you don't have to press for this to work. And as you can see, the pressure is just kind of coming in. Really simple five-man pressure. But where this pressure becomes really, really good is when they start blocking people. So uh, um, first things first, like I said, we don't have to do anything. We can just keep it contained. And then I'm going to block my running back on this play. And what you'll see is when I block my running back, um, as you can see, that time they got picked up, that was partially on my user. I wasn't to the center enough. You really have to make sure, first things first, is that you're running to the center. And the second thing that you have to be really clear, I want to be clear about, is you want to go down and to this side. So we want to basically try to pull the center uh, to the left side of the field. That's essentially what we're trying to do. So down and to the left, just like that. And as you can see, the pressure comes in. So now let me show you blocked running back. Blocked running back really, um, to me, is not the best adjustment they can make to this. It is something they will try to do, but it's really not the best adjustment, but I will show it here. I mean, I guess it's it's doing pretty good against this. Um, one other thing you can do if you're worried about the blocked running back is go ahead and crash your line down, and then you should be fine now. I'm going to hold left trigger um, at the snap of the ball here just to kind of you know help with pulling this guy out and that's what I'm looking at right there that's the contain concept that I was trying to show you when that contain loops around like that the running back almost always uh, will basically dumb out so I like to crash my line down and then QB contain I just think it helps a little bit with the blitz angle of the lineman on the right side and then now I want to show you what happens uh, against max protect and that's really where uh, that's really where I think this blitz shines the most is against max protect uh, because what happens is when they max protect as long as you're standing again like right here or so and you're pulling that center to the left nine times out of ten we're gonna get this really glitchy edge rush just like that right there that's exactly what I want to show you so this is max protect and it's your only center five um, and the blocked running back really doesn't help them the delay fades not gonna help them at all and what you're gonna see here is this is a real special thing I think out of that three three five will you see the biggest thing is I've got to I've got to get that center 
to hold. But if I can get that center to hold, this will come in probably 90% of the time against bunch max protect. As you can see, it's, and this is why I like 335 will. One of the big kryptonites, in my opinion, to the 245 odd is if someone runs ace personnel. What I mean by ace personnel is if they run a tight two tight end sets. So like ace slot or ace offset or a single back ace or deuce close or gun deuce close, right? Those kind of formations. With this concept, it doesn't that it's actually better for your defense if the tight end is on a delay fade. It really truly is. So I'm gonna put a tight end delay fade out here. And again, I'm just gonna run right there, come around, and there you see that's that's about as perfect as we can, that's about as perfect of an example as we can get. Watch what my user does, and this is what you have to pay attention to. See how I jump down, and then I instantly, as soon as I get him, I do the turbo boost to come back into coverage, and then you see this amazing pressure looping around off that side. The tight end fit, delay fade will completely dumb out. Again, all I did was QB contained. I'm going to stand right over the center, go right at him, and then jet out. And as you see, that is that is such a beautiful blitzing concept. So if you want to learn the rest of the defense, I would really encourage you to uh, pick up the, the uh, entire defensive ebook. It's on sale for just 15 bucks. We have a three-man pressure, a three-man version of this that will come in against Gun Bunch Max Protect that I think is super effective and very slept on. We also have really... Uh, good concepts that you can incorporate on the backside with that backside safety. I think that the beauty of this is that you can blitz from both sides and they're really not going to know what's coming. And they really, it's to be honest with you, it's very difficult for them to pick these pressures up. These pressures are super, super good. As you can see, as long as I get my user right, this is, this is a really, really, really good defense. And the beauty of this is we keep our cover to, um, we get to keep our cover to logic and I'm using on the left side of the field, right? So because of that, now I'm free to, I could take this backside guy, just real quick, this is a free extra tip, bonus tip. I could take that backside guy and man him up on the running back because he's a linebacker. And if the running back blocks, it'll actually make the blitz worse. So we're only sending four people and we're getting instant pressure. So this is why I love this defense. You have a middle linebacker on this left side that you can use. It's very good against bunch because I can man that guy up and still have a very, a very, very effective pressure concept. So if the running back goes on a route, I still am able to get instant pressure, as you just saw. But I'm also able to, let's say the running back stays in the block. Like I said, this is going to make it even worse. The running back will dumb out even more so than he normally does. And I'm right there. We didn't get the pressure to come in, unfortunately. But we still, you see... I mean, gosh, man, we're sitting four against Max Protect, and we've probably got about an 80 to 85% chance of this working. As you see right there, it works. Four-man pressure. So I would just tell you right now, please go check out the 335 Will ebook. I think it's my best piece of work, and we're actually going to be doing some updates to it um, to capitalize and to teach the match concepts as well. Uh, but this defense is so much fun to run. So I would really encourage you to check it out. Thanks for watching. There's a link down below if you want to get the 335 Will Guide. Um, if you want to get all of my eBooks, you can sign up for my True Fan membership. That's just 10 bucks a month. Um, and as basically, as long as you are, as long as your subscription is active, then you'll get access to all of my eBooks. So my 335 wide, the 245 odd, all my offenses. But if you just want the 335 Will Guide, it's a one-time purchase of 15 bucks. Uh, and again, that link is down in the description. So thanks for watching. And guys, go check it out. I, I really think that this defense is the best defense in the game right now for a number of different reasons. But it's the most balanced defense. And I really do believe it's the best. Thanks for watching.